Hello, this is Dr. Cunningham, and I would like to just review a little bit regarding life lessons, not necessarily um, the particular content, but a little bit more about my own process. Um, and I also would like to make sure that I say thank you, thank you, thank you to every person that decides to watch. Um, I believe I have all of like 12 subscribers to life lessons and I'm very grateful. Now I do have um, in my app community closer to maybe about 55 people and I actually do um, consider that a blessing um, because you all can decide to go anywhere else because there are people who really make a living off of just sharing information on YouTube or um, have a name because of the books they publish and the, because of the people that they know, but I'm very grateful that you all decide whomever the 12 are um, to still watch um, and to consider the content that I share. Um, you know, life still continues on. I am 40 years old. There's still a lot for me to learn. Um, at the same time, I have experienced what I've experienced up to this point and also realize and I recognize within myself too that I am a a person who really does like to teach. I've been teaching ever since I was young. I grew up in church and um, I started teaching youth when I was in my teens. And that translated to teaching for probably about 11 to 15 years just within the youth ministry and then also having an opportunity to teach within like millennial groups, but then also teaching at the master's and doctoral level. So um, one thing I recall about my doctoral experience while I was an adjunct while going to school for my uh, PhD in marriage and family therapy is that I was told I was a great teacher. And so I really do like to teach, but also recognize that the older I get, um, the more I, I choose when to speak and what to say. Um, I recognize that when it's me speaking one-on-one -on -one and teaching one-on-one, -on -one, I'm more likely to share a lot more. Um, I also am not a person that tries to fight for the front, so to speak. <laughs> like I like to be a collaborator. I care a lot about process and I actually um, am quite introspective. And so I spend a lot of time uh, thinking, you know, but I also make sure that I um, share what I'm thinking about so I'm not in a space of overthinking. Um, all right, and... I recognize that, you know, there are um, people, you know, who have particular purposes or um, skill sets um, or uh, particular giftings. And so I'm grateful to God for the gift that he has given me. And I want to make sure I utilize it because if you don't use it, you lose it. But at the same time, what I recognize as a teacher is that whatever I teach, it's important that I also implement so I am very mindful about what I share because there are certain processes I'm still going through within my own life in order to learn even more so um, the depth um, and the benefits of following a particular path or seeing through a process in order to get to the other side in order to um, be more effective with regards to what I teach. Now... I am a Christian woman at the same time. I focus a lot more on principles than dogma because dogma is not necessarily my my deal, so to speak. Uh, I focus on principle. Um, I grew up with foundational beliefs that are very Christian. At the same time, someone who's spiritual would understand and be able to grasp and grapple with the particular um, principles um, and to determine practically how to implement it in one's life. And then also to just have a great esoteric sort of conversation, which I really enjoy actually. So, um, I'm the type of person that really likes, um, intimate groups. Uh, you know, now again, I can speak in front of, um, groups of people, but again, if I were in a group collaborating with regards to the work, then I tend to have conversations where it's like, okay, well, how are we divvying up the con the uh, responsibilities and the conversation and particular topics? Because I like to focus on my areas of expertise. And then also, honestly, after being in college for 15 years, also I'm at a space now too where I'm starting to think about, you know, um, how can one do what they do and also continue to 
um, increase one's value because um, every human being has their value. Every person has a particular expertise. If one is willing to focus in on where they notice where their expertise is and to continue to enhance it. And so because of that, you know, I've been doing a lot of restructuring and changing of my business, um, even in the process of going through like some rebranding and things of that nature. But I want to thank all of those who have stayed with me through my journey, because as long as we're alive, we're going to be evolving. And so my hope and prayer is to constantly to be changing, to be evolving, to be growing, to become a better person. I mean, literally, my hair looks completely different than it did last year. Not necessarily to say it has to do with something external, but I believe this time around, you know, my hair signifies some of the changes that have occurred within me and um, my mindset and, you know, um, my desire to express more of my creative side. Um, you know, I have always loved academics. I grew up enjoying going to school. I was that teacher's pet. I was that nerd. I mean... And I also definitely was the person who was very protective. Again, I'm not argumentative. Um, at the same time, I'm very protective of those that I care about and also the causes I care about. I love people. <laughs> I do. And I simply adore and love my family. And so those um, who are part of my family, whether it is blood or whether it's people that I choose to call family, even if there are people that become adopted family members, or they end up calling them cousins, aunties, uncles, you know, um, or just really good friends, you know. Um, and so I'm thankful for those people who are in my life. My hope is, is that life lessons will continue to include not only lessons that I share on particular topics, because I always have a lot of topics I'd like to address and discuss. But again, I also want to be mindful of making sure and utilizing wisdom with regards to implementation because I'd like to consider sharing information from a perspective that includes more stories, that includes more of my own life. And I work to be mindful of how much I share because I also recognize that I work with different clients. And there are some clients that are okay with hearing information about their therapist. And then there are some clients that are like, I don't know if I necessarily want to know that much about you. <laughs> and then there are some clients because I also... Um, you know, in working with a particular population through the Department of Corrections, I don't necessarily want them knowing too much about me, you know. So, um, you know, there there's different facets of the work that I am implementing, as well as um, just where I am in my own uh, life at this point. And I'm so grateful. I am so grateful to have uh, gone through what I've gone through up to this point and have grown in the way that I've grown. And I am looking forward to the evolution that will continue to occur within my life. And also um, a space and opportunity to be able to connect with new people. Um, because I've definitely gone through different stages and phases of my life where, where there were people that I had to say goodbye to. Not because they were bad people, but just because I was going to a different arena or a different space and place than I had been before and being around them, they may not have understood or maybe wouldn't have been able to handle what it was that I had to deal with or maybe just they didn't wanna go where I was going. And so I'm okay with that, but also looking forward to being able to connect with people who are at a space in a place where um, they are focused on the future. I can recall even when I was like five years old, always thinking about my choices now and how they'll affect my future and how important my future is to me. So because of considering my future all the time, I was mindful of not only my own actions, how I treated other people, but also the people that were around me. And if they were um, a part of the, the environment that was necessary or that was nurturing with consideration of my future, because I am that serious about my future and protecting my future. And my future starts now, and it's always a matter of now. Now affects tomorrow. I am a systemic thinker, so there is always ripple effects. So we have to consider what we do and what we say now and what that means later on. 
So um, I certainly hope and, um, you know, pray that everyone um, continues to do well and that we continue to focus on how our lives can constantly move forward and for us to constantly evolve as a person. Um, and I certainly hope that you all continue to go on my journey with me. At the same time, if my channel may not necessarily be as consistent as it was, I just want people to know that as um, spirit leads, honestly, there are particular topics I will share. I might even um, decide to add a little bit more principle, but I always like to make sure it, it's life-based information um, because to me, it's most practical that way. And there's a way to be spiritual and yet to be effective practically and connect with humanity. And that's what matters most to me. It really does. It, regardless of what your background is, your nation of origin, um, you know, where you come from, um, what your preferences are, what your sexual orientation is. I love people and I want you to know that I love you and also that God loves you. And I mean that sincerely. And so I hope you all have a great one.